Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play where we're diving right back into Elite Zoo North with almost 40,000 conservation credits. I just realized how much we made last session. Wow. All right, well, let's dive on in. No time to waste. There is a lot to get done today. Uh, so let's hit that resume button. And folks, as we dive in, as always, I just want to mention, if you've been enjoying this series and you would like to see it continue, the best way to make sure that happens is by leaving a like and a comment down below below. We're getting to that point where it is a very serious conversation about kicking off our new franchise zoo as well. Sorry, not our new franchise, but our new zoo within our franchise. Uh, we are almost done the Asia and Arctic sections. Within the next couple of sessions, we will be done those two sections. Uh, I think before we dive into South America and Africa, there are a couple of things to consider. For one, I really want to do a couple of beauty passes in a row. And I know uh, many of you like seeing animals being added more often than not. And that's definitely something I've been trying to do. But I think what's happened is for the last, uh, I don't know, month's worth of episodes maybe, we've been adding an animal almost every other session. Uh, and so I haven't been able to keep up with the beauty passes. And now there are a lot of little spots here and there that we've left empty where I had plans. And I was always saying, oh, I'll get back to this or we'll do this next time or we'll do this with the next beauty pass. That's all kind of piled up. So uh, after we finish the Asia or rather East Asia and Arctic sections, I might want to spend a couple of episodes uh, just catching up with some of the beauty passes. And while we're doing that, I think we're going to have to consider the reality of adding Africa and South America to this zoo. Now, that is an option, and I know many of you are saying we should really do that. You really want to see that happen. Uh, and I do too. Let me be 100% clear. I really want to see that as well. Because how epic would it be to have one, you know, um, one parent zoo, I guess, if you will, that, you know, has, a uh, well, South America and, and, and Africa are going to be down over here. Uh, like, how cool would that be? However, let's all remember just how much lag we get when we, um, when we hit play. And that's only going to get worse. That's only going to get worse as we add more animals, more pads, more this, that, and the other thing. And there's only so much I can do to improve that frame rate. Because again, the thing is, I've got, I've got a very powerful processor. I've got a very powerful graphics card. Um, the settings, it, it's not a graphics thing. Uh, I think it's a processing thing. I think it's just, I, I think it's beyond that as well. I think it's just the game isn't really optimized for that, this scale of operation. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. But point being, when it comes time to add, what is it? So take a look at Zoopedia really quickly. Um, I think it's like four new South American animals, right? Plus an exhibit. You got the llama, you got the, uh, what was it, the leopard. Uh, there's the um, the anteater and the monkey, right? So that's four new South American animals. Not too much of an undertaking. But with Africa, I mean, with Africa, we've got the aardvark, the, the buffalo, the elephant, the dog, <laughs> this giant tortoise. Uh, we've got the, where what else? The wildebeest, the bongo, the bonobo. The cheetah. I mean, what, that's seven already, isn't it? I'm not including the uh, smaller animals. Uh, what's this? Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Sorry, no, not eleven. Ten. Um, where are we? Jeez, eleven. Alright, okay. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, wow, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 more animals. And I might have missed one or added one. So 20, 26, give or take, right? Uh... I mean, I'd love to do it, but we got to think about that a little bit. So just some just some uh, thoughts that I'm throwing out there, things that are going on in my head, and I'm curious to see what y'all are thinking as well. Um, the, the plan with the Africa section was to make a bit of a giant safari area, so our enclosures there might be a bit easier to craft in the sense that none of them will really be very architecturally um, focused. They'll all be uh, pretty open. We have a lot of space for it, right? We can go as far as here. There's a lot of space for it. We'll have the 4x4 driving people through, but 20-something enclosures. I mean, geez, it would be like, it would go out this way, then come up this way is almost the scale it would need to take. It's It needs to be huge. Um, 
almost wondering if I should put it up here instead. Jeez. Uh, and then, of course, the South America one with just four animals, it would probably just take up, like, this space over here, right? Um, South America, really easy to do over here. Oh, what we could do is we could also do a partial thing where we do some of the African animals, all the South American animals, because, again, there's just four. So four South American animals, four African animals, and then we maybe kick off a new zoo. Now, anyways, that's still many, many episodes away. But something that I want to throw out there again is what should we do as a concept for our new zoo? Um, this one has sort of been, uh, everything's been separated by region. We've got basically all the animals in, minus Africa and South America so far. Uh, is our next zoo going to be endangered animals only? Uh, one great suggestion that I liked a lot was, uh, is it going to be a nocturnal only zoo? Now, I would do that, except now that summer is here, many of you have already been noting that the darker... Uh, times of, a, of, a, of an episode, it's really hard to see, so that's something for me to consider as well. Uh, but yeah, keep those suggestions coming, because it is a conversation for sooner rather than later. Uh, part of me is almost wondering if we go until episode 100 with this zoo, and then episode 101 onwards is the next zoo in the franchise. I think that's a nice kind of break, right? 100 is the season finale, if you will, and then we kick off with 101 being a new zoo. And of course, we'll still be coming back to this zoo. It is a franchise. We'll come back here, maintain this as well, and you know, maybe that's how we add Africa to, uh, to this zoo in its entirety. But uh, stuff to consider. Y'all keep letting me know in the comments how you feel about different things, just as you did with regards to our new enclosure. Very happy to see the positive reactions to that. Some of y'all feel like it might be too heavily wooded, that the uh, guests might have issues with the views, uh, or even that it might be too uh, much of a distance from top to bottom over here. Uh, very much a possibility, all these things. So we'll very quickly check with one, uh, one trick that I think should work over here. Um, if I put this down over here, I should be able to, well, rather, I want to put the education boards on the other side. It should still work just fine, but I feel like having the education boards block the view kind of, as was pointed out in the comments as well, it kind of hurts the, the serenity of the entire area. So if we make that the bear and we go to the education section, you can see that it is in blue which means that it is not too high to be considered a view. Uh, if it was red, then it would be. So I believe I can show you right here. If I go ahead and pull this thing up at a certain point. No, hold on. There we go. When it's yellow, it's considered too high, not red. So that means we're well within our range of uh, of the bears being visible. But again, hopefully, hopefully the views will be all right. Otherwise, I might need to block this off a little bit or raise the ground. There are potential solutions, so I'm none too, uh, too worried about that. But uh, let me just, before I forget, or before something goes horribly wrong, I'm going to put the educational speaker down over here as well. Go ahead and assign the Formosan Black Bear to you, and extend the radius, and then I'm going to get away from here. We're actually going to dive into a time lapse right at the beginning. I want to complete this enclosure. I want to make some changes to our uh, tiger enclosure, like I was talking about last time. Um, and that's going to be the focus of our time lapse. Might do... Some beauty stuff down over here as well if uh if time permits and then we're going to go ahead and actually make sure this is all working properly guests are coming through we're getting donations things like that uh we'll see now it was also suggested that i maybe get rid of this bypass over here might not be a terrible idea actually because then guests will not go this way they'll either go this way straight into the animals or this way pass like through the animals something to think about anyway folks as I was saying, we're going to dive right into a time lapse to kick things off. We're going to do a little bit of finishing off down here, a little bit of finishing off up over here, and then we're going to get to work on some beautification, uh, again, if time permits. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right on in. All right, folks, I definitely set the bar a little too high for myself in terms of what I wanted to get done. Uh, we get a lot done, though. Um, I'm really actually quite happy with how this time lapse ends up with the uh, progress made over here. And uh, I'm really happy with uh, with this experiment. It was great to see your reactions in the comments. Many of you went through that same roller coaster of emotions as I did of just like, oh, no, what has he done to, uh, oh, damn, that actually works out. Uh, great to see it. Um, lots of great feedback in the comments as well in terms of tweaks and edits and changes that need doing. Um, so we will be uh, getting all that done uh, or getting most of it done, if not all of it. I have my notes set to the side as well. The first order of business was to do a little bit of lighting because it's been quite a while since we've done lighting. I did a fair bit of it during sunset, realized that we're not really getting the full effect of the lighting at sunset. So enjoyed the pleasures of a game crash, which you know, blink and you miss it because of the editing. But uh, uh, fortunately, we didn't uh, lose anything as we changed the time of day, uh, looking quite quite clearer 
with regards to how the lighting's going to look. And I tried to do a little, like, transition from moonlit to sunset lit, so to speak. So on one side, it's blue hues, blues and whites. And on the other side, it's the oranges. And then I added some of these uh, stadium lights into the water because I felt like that was a much... I don't know the right word. I, I feel like it's a better, quote-unquote, way of making that mist effect. Like, look at that bottom corner right now. Well, not, not right now. Not right now, right? Like, that feels misty to me. Uh, better than adding the VFX in. And we will add VFX in, mainly for like the waterfalls and stuff, and a little bit for the, the smoke and, and whatnot. But I feel like this has that uh, foggy feel as opposed to that, like, smoky feel. I feel like the mist in the game sometimes feels very smoky. Uh, and now this feels a lot more like fog. Uh, you know, that's where the, 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 the volumetric light really helps with that. Um, and we get that same feeling from the lights, you know, across the top of the, the ridge as well and whatnot. Really quite pleased, actually, with how this space looks at night. Um, there you go. So you can see that at the corner there. Uh, across the board, in fact. And we add a couple of spotlights here and there uh, for more direct uh, illumination, if you will. I do try to soften the lighting as much as possible, wherever possible. And I do believe the Formosan Black Bears, and cor again, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, they quite like a little bit of uh, darkness. Uh, living in like dense forested areas and things like that. Um, so I don't mind it having some darker spots. And then adding the uh, under lighting for our trees as well. Here, I didn't want it to be as um, vibrant or as potent as we have it in other parts of the zoo. I wanted it to have a decent fall off, with, by which I mean at the bottom it's pretty intense because it's where the light's coming in. But as, as the light goes further and further, it doesn't quite penetrate through the dense canopy. Uh, of the trees, and so it becomes pretty um, subdued. Like, the effect is pretty subdued at the top of the tree line. I think that just kind of adds another layer uh, of, of depth, um, another feeling of depth, I would say, to our uh, enclosure over here. And then even over here on the edges, I add a little bit of green lighting to brighten up the edges, but then uh, on, on both sides. But then again, I wanted to feel as though the light isn't uh, strong enough to penetrate deep into the forest and so it turns dark. Just again building that experience with uh, all the uh, all the visual tools that are at our disposal I suppose. And over here of course since we're working on lighting I figure why not come back over here and get these cherry trees looking like bubblegum cherry trees I guess. Cherry bubblegum trees? You know that bubblegum pink. You know what I'm going for here. Uh, and then I also decide to add the stadium lights to our uh, hot spring over here because um, I feel like it adds that misty feel. Also, those first two spotlights I put down, um, I'm not gonna lie, I put them down and I saw, uh, I saw a, uh, I saw a macaque butt, and then I had to keep it that way. You can see the, you can see it. I just pan a little bit, yeah, you can see it right, right by the entrance, just the, yep, because it's red-ish as well, so I, I had to keep that lighting there. It was a mistake at first, but... You know, sometimes things happen for a reason, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, so that aside, again, I added a little bit of that smoky, foggy lighting look as well. And then I decided to come back over here and try something that I saw suggested in the comments. I don't know if I've quite pulled it off right, but uh, my understanding was it'd be really neat to have like an implication of, I guess, fireflies. Uh, you know, kind of hovering around, especially when it's dark. And I really like that. Uh, the beauty of like little fireflies hovering around has always... And I'm sure it's not just me, it, it, that it, always getting like enraptured by like, oh look at that, right, it, you don't have to be a kid to enjoy uh, the, the visual of those small floating lights. So I tried to replicate that with the Christmas baubles and hopefully it, it's been pulled off appropriately. And then here adding some lighting, you know I'll be completely honest, not entirely impressed by the, the lighting here. I might go in and redo it at some point. You can see I think every once in a while I hesitate to continue because it just kind of like there, it feels a little... Eh, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm so pleased with the enclosure that just using game pieces to make these lights seems like a disservice. Um, but nonetheless, we, we go ahead and light these paths up. I figured we'll do a little bit of that work today as well because we're on a roll over here. But I wanted to make sure I didn't lose sight of our main tasks, which was to uh, get our enclosure done. Over here as well, I think I do a little bit of recoloring. I wanted it to be red as opposed to pink. Red felt more like... Actually, you know what? I think I should go back to the pink. Pink feels more like that butt color, and so yes, a, a lot of the a lot of the decisions over here were driven by those first two lights that I put down that ended up looking like uh, monkey butt. So you know, I don't know what that says about me, but let it say whatever it does say, I guess. Uh, now we've got another um, 
time of day change because I wanted to have things better lit while we built these uh, elements over here. Uh, that little pause over there was me just double checking to make sure. And yes, Taiwan does have bamboo forests. Uh, so I wanted to use bamboo to kind of get that feeling. And again, the bamboo is from the South America DLC, but hey, who cares, right? It's not like it's South American bamboo or you can, it doesn't say like, it doesn't say South America across the top of it. Uh, and I quite like it. It uh, fits the theme. It fits the kind of natural vibe. And I mentioned this after the time lapse as well. So forgive me for repeating myself, but uh, I do want to build some scaffolding for this entire section, but I felt like that was a bit of an undertaking that I didn't want to undertake until, uh, until we saw guests were using the space, just in case we had to rebuild it. Uh, so we get the the fencing in because I saw many of you, <laughs> many of you like, hey, uh, party, uh, kids are going to fall in. And uh, while I don't mind a free meal or two for the bears every once in a while, I think we can more than afford to pay their uh, their meal fees. So let's go ahead and get the, uh, the fencing up and make sure we don't have any mishaps like that. Not that there is a mechanic in game, as funny as that would be. I wish there was a danger rating like that. Um, to what end? I don't know, but I think it's funny. Uh, nonetheless, we, we get the fencing in uh, for aesthetic um, believability, for suspension of disbelief, that's the phrase I was looking for. Uh, then over here as well, just kind of filling in these little holes just to see what it would look like. I'm quite pleased with it. I really like, I really like this enclosure. Man. It's always such a challenge to come up with something different with uh, nature. But I'm really pleased with this. Anyways, the stairs on the other side as well. Uh, the, the bamboo, I think, fencing adds a layer to the otherwise standard path. I'm tempted as well to change the wooden path into bamboo pathing, like again, the South American style bamboo pathing. Um, I just don't like its uh, patterning for this. I prefer the way the, the wood is like slats. I don't know, I'm torn. It's an easy change. We might experiment with it uh, next session, but uh, overall pretty happy with the uh, with how this entire section is looking. And I believe now is when I add, yes, this education board. An excellent point was brought up, which was, uh, hey, wouldn't it be neat to walk into this heavily forested area uh, and then to have people learn about uh, deforestation on either their way, their way in or out? Really like the idea. So I decided to, uh, you know, kind of encase it in this stone structure over here. So as you walk by, you get a quick glimpse of deforestation and what that's doing to uh, various animals. And uh, then you enter a heavily forested area. So it's kind of like a look at what we had and let's try and maintain this beauty in the world, right? Um, I think there's a, uh, I think there's a poetry to that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some education boards down now, education speakers as well. It's going to be a bit of a hassle because for some reason they get grouped up. No big deal though. We sort that out. I make sure that the education speakers don't have overlap either. You'll notice a little bit right now, but during the time lapse, I fixed that. And uh, I also... Uh, do a little check because many of you mentioned there are some overlapping education speakers elsewhere. So I do a check, but I didn't notice any. Um, maybe I'm blind, so feel free to feel free to point them out if you do notice any. Um, but it, it, we're quickly running out of time on the time lapse, unfortunately. I did get a lot done. Going to get the donation bins down as well. Two tones of green for that forest jungle look. Got to pop down some ATMs as well, and we got to do the title. But after we get the uh, title in, the, the name of the enclosure in. Uh, that's going to be the end of this time lapse because we are running out of time on it. And again, I want to make sure I get this uploaded on time tonight. I don't like delays. I don't like being late. Uh, it is a priority for me. So another great set of name suggestions, folks. Y'all always make it difficult. And this is the kind of difficult I like. But the winner has got to be, uh, well, what we go with over here. And that is Formosan Falls. Got to stick with those alliterations that we've got going on for the bears for some reason. It's just like, it's just like the China area being all... A Song of Ice and Fire references. For some reason, the bears are all alliterations. Anyways, folks, well, that's what we're going to call it. Hope you enjoyed. All right. That was a pretty productive time lapse, I would say. We didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, if I'm completely honest. I wanted to get this beauty pass done over here, and then I wanted to get the expansion done over here as well. But, I mean, this expansion, we can wait until we do the wolves as well. Like, I don't mind that being, uh, you know, all together, because this entire section will be modified uh, next session, if all goes smoothly, where we get the, uh, Arctic Wolves into this, uh, River Run area, we get a little, I think what we'll do is we'll build a little Russian, um, village, like I was initially talking about over here, which will be the stopping point for, uh, you know, food and, and drink and whatnot, and we'll have people, um, 
rather we'll have this entire place be natural. Uh, but that's a conversation for next time. Uh, I just want to include that little Russian inspiration because I did quite like it. Not too much construction, though. I don't want this to be an architecture heavy build. I want this to be a nature heavy build as well because I do... Uh, well, based on the comments, it does seem like many of y'all feel uh, like the nature heavy enclosures are a bit more compelling, and I am compelled uh, to agree. Um, I like the I like the builds a lot, but uh, there's something about the the more nature infused, nature centric uh, enclosures that. Uh, it, even from a creative perspective, becomes a whole different level of challenge, I would say, uh, just to like, how do you make the ground look different this time kind of a thing, you know? Uh, not to say I'm not proud of the constructs that we've built, so don't take it the wrong way. Now, let's, um, let's see, what have I got to do here? Uh, I've got our uh, names, of course, I must have, uh, must have mentioned it, Formosan Falls. I might recolor this, if I'm completely honest. I like how it looks, because it's got like the black and the, you know what, actually? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, hold on. Sorry, bear with me, folks. Just looking at it now made me realize what I want to do with it. Um, it's going to be kind of tough, if I'm completely honest. Well, let's try it, right? Who would I be if I didn't try it? I wouldn't be party elite. Uh, let's get rid of this. And I want to go ahead and get a C in there. Ah! No, okay. Let's go ahead and get the parentheses. Yep. Fun fact, parentheses and brackets are two different things. So let's go ahead and get this over here like so. Uh, and then... Yeah, and then we can get the other one like this. And the reason why I'm doing that is because... Is because... Some of you might be able to tell already. Oh damn, didn't mean to exit the group. Hopefully it's still a part of it. It is not. One sec. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. For most and bear with me, um, because I think, I don't know, it just adds a little something to it. It's a little tough to read, obviously, I'm not going to disagree with that. Uh, I might make the black a bit more of a gray, but let me just copy this over first, and then I'll, I'll show you what I why I, I have the little parentheses thing going on. And hopefully I've got it right. If I don't, then that'll be, uh, oh, be funny. Not haha funny, but whoops funny. Let's get you down over there, get rid of you, pop you back a little bit. Uh, and I do wish I, I waited to do the lighting until after I put this down, but we'll just wait until nightfall at some point. Uh, now, where is our buddy? Couple things I need to do over here. For one, oh wow, what are the chances that I actually end up finding you? Uh, that's why. Because of that iconic kind of crescent moon white patch is the reference I'm making with our little title up top. Oh my, they're so fluffy. <laughs> the tiny bee little eyes. Oh my god. Uh, this is so cute. Goddamn cute. Uh, okay. Over here, I want to go ahead and do what? I want it to rename Habitat 30 to Formosan Falls. Sticking to that kind of tradition. Grizzly Grove, Himalayan Hideout, Formosan Falls. All the bears are getting um, alliterations, I guess. Uh, so that's cool over there. We, we want to try and get ourselves a female Formosan bear. Again, our uh, bear here is a reward for community challenges. I really wish community challenges would happen more often. Slash, I really wish I had a... I had uh, participated in them more often, I suppose I should say. Wow, Li Zuan is not a bad pick at all. You know what? Let's go for it. Li Zuan, 240, not very expensive from Le Zhu. Size is a little bit on the small side, but that's not too bad. We can counteract that, right? Let's go ahead and get you into quarantine right away. Oh, we've got one a lot closer, right, of course. That's kind of the point of all this. Let's get the quarantine happening immediately. And uh, we might have some baby black bear suit. Baby black bears coming right up. So this is... Right, so this is more or less done. I'm sure I'll come in and do some more, you know, passes down the line, as, as is always the case. I definitely want to make these paths look a little bit nicer as well, but that'll be another beauty pass. This is why I'm thinking we should uh, have, like, after we do East Asia and Arctic, after they're complete, we should do just a couple of sessions where we focus on a lot of these little things. It might literally be two sessions where it's just a bunch of little, tiny little things that have been left by the wayside because of... You know, time constraints. I want to make sure I get these out on time and rendering and stuff. If you've seen my tweets, you'll know why it's been a bit of a nightmare lately. But um, so stuff to uh, consider. Am I ready to unpause? That's the question right now. We've got ourselves a female black bear coming through. We've got our male black bear. We've got everything in place. We've got donation bins and everything. Uh, yeah, I think we'll get to unpause. Oh, it's such a weird feeling. It's such a weird feeling. Um... Oh no, you know what? Actually, before we unpause, I want to do a couple things. Haha. 
I knew there was something. Uh, I have a treasure trove. An endless, like, an endless pit, if you will, of uh, name suggestions. And my god, this has got to be one of the toughest times it's been to, uh, to pick. Got to be one of the toughest times it's been to pick. Because, uh... Jeez. I don't even know where to begin. I, I have so many great suggestions. Okay, let's, uh, we, we've got Formosan and Falls named. Uh, let's go ahead and find our energy drink first. Okay. <laughs> let's go ahead and find our energy drink first. Sorry, I'm just looking at my list of amazing things. Okay, Gulpy Energy, you are going to be fierce Formosan. I like the, uh, again, an another alliteration and just, like, the sense of, uh, of the adventure you're about to go on. Uh, we've got ourselves over here. No, sorry, over here. No, sorry, over here. No, sorry, over here. Gotta be the last one you pick, right? Uh, we've got our... Where'd it go? There we go. The Frozen Formosan, because, again, another alliteration. Why not? Uh, do we not have a... We've got Missy Good, which I'm going to change into Misty Good. Uh, just a reference to, again, what you're going to experience. I'm going to add a uh, another eatery over here, I think. One that isn't just desserts, because Missy Goods is, yeah, donuts and stuff. So it might be a good idea to have a, you know, proper meal place. Not that donuts doesn't make a proper meal, don't get me wrong. But I do think I need to add ourselves another, uh... No, I did not mean to group you. I did not mean to make a, a, a group of one place. <laughs> just because I'm typing down over here. Um, facilities. Guest facilities. Uh, chief beef, right? There we go. I want to get the burgers. I, I thought it would have been tagged with burger or something. We cannot fit anything up over here. We're going to go ahead and extend this plaza, if you will, down to over here. Right? Make this an interesting site so that as you boat by it, you'll get something interesting to look at, I suppose. Go ahead and get rid of you. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm specifically going for a chief beef, it's because, yes, I was given a name suggestion that I quite enjoyed. Uh, we are going over here with the Arctophile Bergers. Um, now, Arctophile, apparently, this is a word that I didn't know existed, which is part of the reason why I wanted to include it, just because I learned something new today. Uh, Arctophile is apparently somebody who has a love of collecting teddy bears, which... Didn't know that was a thing. Did not know that was a thing. Alright, uh, apart from that, I also want to add a juice stand, so you know what, let's go ahead and move you over. Now, the juice stand, I want to add also for a couple of reasons. Uh, for one, hold on a second. Why would you not just, uh, it's gonna consider this as a path deletion, so I'm actually gonna have to get rid of this and then re-add it. Okay, fair enough. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and get you back over here. Excellent. And again, we're gonna go Arctophile Bergers. Done. And then the juice, um, we got a gulpy pip shot juice, right? This, uh, so many of you maybe already know about this thing, but some of you might not. I don't know how much of a global phenomena it's become, but it is certainly caught on in North America. Um, can't speak to anywhere else, obviously. Uh, but let's put this down over here. But we're going to call our pip shot juice uh boba bear now boba uh alternatively known as bubble tea is a very popular um drink that actually originated from taiwan if i'm not mistaken often it's misattributed to i believe china but it is if i'm not mistaken from taiwan i'm like double checking in my head because uh i i've i've, I've had many conversations about the origins of bubble tea with uh with my with my friends and uh just trying to trying to oh, i want to get this right obviously bubble tea is from i'm pretty sure taiwan uh correct me in the comments if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure it's from taiwan and it's from like it, it's a it's not like a ancient cultural drink or anything like that it's from like i want to say the 90s or the 80s or something uh so relatively recent uh thing all things considered uh, I'm personally not a big fan of it, so I'm probably not the best person to speak to it. I always find it a little too creamy, but uh, my friends who like it, they swear by it. People who like it swear by it. Uh, I know people who chase after boba over, you know, sodas and whatnot, so... 
I suppose it's probably healthier for you. They're typically made out of fruits and things. So yeah, I wanted to include that because uh, again, right, this is the this is the Taiwan section. It's the only representation it gets. So let's let's try and imbue uh, at least some cultural references where we can. So there you have it, boba bear. Uh, I love the sound of it. I can just see the logo in my head. In fact, I might even make it one because it's adorable in my head. Uh, and boba again is the uh, I believe that's the proper name for bubble tea. And bubble tea is just kind of it's like anglicization again i might be mistaken but that's based on conversations i've had it's anecdotal entirely so if you know better feel free to correct me in the comments uh okay enough time spent on one name i want to say over here we're gonna get uh, hats fantastic is the black bearables like black wearables i guess um but it's got the black bears in it so i'm not gonna say no to that and then down over here we've got ourselves another uh, gulpy energy and this one by virtue of it being right next to a um toilet i guess is going to be called grotto go grotto go because you're because you because you got it because you got to go and you're in a grot yeah i think it's pretty clear uh apart from that i actually got some great name suggestions for our reindeer um in uh not enclosure sorry our reindeer stalls as well so let's go ahead and name some of these uh again feel free to keep them coming for any that i've missed uh the energy gulpy energy is going to be called hoofing it because you're 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 hoofing it you know like, that's a turn of phrase, right? Everyone that people know. Uh, the Street Fox Coffee is going to be, again, learned a new word today. Uh, Ungu Latte. And the original word that I'm that this is built off of is... I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, ungulate? Ungulate? I'm not sure. U-N-G-U-L-A-T-E, I believe is the spelling. Uh, and that is a class of animals that has hooves or ho hoofed feet, I believe is... is, is so it's a very big class, and the reindeers fall into it. Uh, and ungulate, because it's coffee. Be beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Just, again, learn something new. Uh, the info center over here. Uh, I've got... Uh, oh, man. How did I not write it down? I know I have a suggestion for the info center. I must have said, haha, I'll remember this. Or for some reason got distracted. Damn. All right, the info center. Still up to be renamed. Sorry, folks. Uh, and the Monsieur Frit. Why do I not have... Hmm. Damn, all right. The most you're free up to be named as well, but I will check through the notes of my previous uh, episode to see what's going on over there. And we've got the Looney Balloons over here as well. Now, there was a suggestion for an ice cream stall over here, but we do not have an ice cream stall. Maybe we replace the fries with ice cream. Uh, we don't really have... I think I'd rather have fries because this is going to be a cold spot, right? And... Uh... Having some coffee and some hot food is probably the way to go rather than adding some ice cream. But yeah, Info Center and the uh, Looney Balloons uh, all deserve some names. Uh, what am I looking at next? I guess that's all that. There is also a great suggestion for a food stall near the um, Siberian Tigers that I do not want to forget. Um, I have it written down, so I won't. But uh, we're, we're going to be putting some vendors down in this corner over here or perhaps in this little corner over here or here. Uh, but that'll be that'll be when we come in to finish this area off. I think I'm done rambling for now, folks. I apologize. Uh, oh, no. You know what? I'm not. One last thing before we hit play. I do want to... Uh, this was I was thinking about this as well, and then y'all reiterated this in the comments. So, again, thank you for jogging my memory. But I want to make sure that we get ourselves some more speakers in here. And we got to get the right sound, right? We got to... Why is it... It's in facilities, isn't it? Why am I checking the wrong spot? Speaker. There we go. Got to get that mood, you know? I get that mood. Let's go ahead and get you set to what? Asian forest. Okay, that's just like... <laughs> that's gotta be it, right? Now the question is... What kind of sounds does it make? And there are a lot of questionable jokes that can be made about this relating to uh, certain historical events that involve the forests of specifically Southeast Asia being a very, very dangerous place for a certain group of people. Uh, very historically interesting, actually. And you know what? That is that's that's why I'm going to mention it. Uh, if you don't know the details of the guerrilla tactics dur used during the Vietnam War, I highly suggest looking them up. I'm not going to go into detail over here uh, for I think obvious reasons, but uh, it is very compelling information. Um, really compelling information. How um, different body types were uh, integral, I would say, in uh, strategies applied uh, those of you that are somewhat familiar with the channel know i have a fascination with history i mean those of you who watch this series know i have a fascination with history and on top of that um 
war is uh, is something that's always driven my curiosity for many reasons. Um, war and technology. I'm a big big tech person as well, and those things often intersect. And uh, the, the Vietnam War is a very interesting case study on both sides of the field, I would say. Um, but yeah, sorry, <laughs> just I couldn't help myself with that train of thought with uh, with the name of the speaker. It's like what what sounds does an Asian forest make? What does that mean? Which Asian forest? It's such, it just sounds so generic, you know. If you look at some of the other names, like crickets, okay, desert at night, okay, birds of the jungle, which jungle? Frogs of the jungle. I mean, I guess a ribbit sounds the same across the world. Uh, insects of the jungle, jungle rain. You know, I like some jungle rain. We can get that in here as well. South. I mean, I don't know. Asian jungle just stands out to me. It's kind of funny. Uh, but jungle, jungle rain, and jungle at night. We're just like pumping music here. Go ahead and this place is gonna it's just gonna be a cacophony, isn't it? You down there. I think that's I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough. Jungle a little bit of let's go jungle at night instead. Jungle rain, it'll when when it rains, it'll sound like rain. I feel like that's a, a reasonable way to go about it. Alright, cool. I don't want to bother the animals with any of these sounds. I mean I, I don't know if they'll get bothered by it, but I think that's a fair way to approach it. And it's also been suggested that I add some vines and things like that. I think I'll look into that once we see how people interact with the space. Might add some vines along the walkway. Uh, might add some vines, you know, coming off the top over here. And there are quite a few options. And in fact, there are also the great options of the mossy rocks, which I wouldn't mind using a bit more of as well. The moss makes sense. I mean, these are sort of ideal conditions, as some of y'all pointed out, for, uh, uh, for moss to grow. So we can definitely take a look at adding uh, some mossy rock here and there to make it feel uh, like a natural, a more natural kind of... Oh, I really like that, actually. Just happy little accent. Uh, to, to make things feel a bit more real, I suppose. Because, uh, yes, moss, unless my understanding of moss is horribly mistaken, moss would grow um, quite heavily in a place like this, especially once you get, like, the waterfall and stuff in, and once we get the, the mist in and everything, it'll be... Uh, It'll make perfect sense. I quite like how that looks, actually. I really like this addition. I really like this addition as a, as a tool. And again, right, like we want to get some maybe mossy rocks and stuff in here as well to act as support for the path. In fact, let's maybe get that going a little bit. I, I do want to build a uh, support structure, like a proper scaffolding for the uh, for the path as well. We'll probably make it out of bamboo as well. Again, just to fit the uh, aesthetic and the, uh, the region and whatnot. But... Um, Put that around that way, but maybe that's all for later. Maybe I'm I'm spending too much time fiddling here. I'm sorry. That's the thing. I, I notice some. I I do everything I notice, and sometimes I'll notice something after time lapse, and I'll go, ah, oh, it won't take me too long. And uh, then this happens. Let's go ahead and just nudge you over. This is it. This is the last thing we're doing. Done. Done. That's actually terrible. I don't like it. We're gonna get rid of it. Um, we'll 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 build a scaffolding structure for it uh, later on, I think, and we'll add vines and stuff at the same time. That's also part of the reason I didn't want to do it right now is because. Uh, this might change. We might add like an overhang thing so that people are protected from the rain when they're walking through it. it. Would be really pretty, I think, to build something out of bamboo that covers sections of it, if not the whole thing. Uh, but I kind of, I'm still in like the design phase of that, if you will. I'm like sketching it out and whatnot, trying to figure out how I want it to look, how I want to use the pieces, uh, what angles I want it to take. But I've got something in mind. Really excited to execute it, and that's another reason why I want to do some of these beauty passes um, after we get these sections done. Anyway, that. I think is enough rambling. Let's go ahead and hit play and see how these animals behave. Let's see if people visit this area. Let's see what issues we get. And let's also make sure that we get our female bear in. I like that it doesn't take forever to unpause. What are the issues over here? Low welfare, I assume. Hold on. Why are you? Unbox you. Fighting due to overcrowding. Oh, I love that the warnings are back. They have heard us. The warnings are back here. Um, what do we have? Anuta. Let's go ahead and take a look at your genes. Oh my god. Definitely worth trading, I would say. In fact, better than my current, uh, only marginally better than my current alpha male. Right, because of that fertility. 92, 150, 67. Alright. Let's go ahead and get you into the Trade Center. 
definitely worth trading. Um, I think some other zoo could definitely use uh, use that. Oh, come on. I want to see the baby macaque. Where is it? Where is it? Where's her baby? Where's her baby? Come on. Don't hide this from me. Is that it? Oh my god, is that it? Is that a baby monkey? Yoshito. Yes, it is. Oh my god, look at those jeans. Oh, some good jeans. Alright, buddy. Did you hear that squeal? Did you hear the little... little squeak? You're hearing this, right? <laughs> is it like just discovering its hands? I love how it's looking down at its hands like, huh. What are these? Oh my god, its butt looks like a face! Its butt looks like a face! It's got eyes in the back of its butt! <laughs> that's gotta be a... That's gotta be a thing, right? Like, there's gotta be a reason for, for that. Where? Oh no. You know what I need to do? I need to check their escape routes. Baby monkeys finding their own ways out. In a bit, in a bit. What's the worst that could happen if a monkey escapes, right? So cute. Look at that climb. Look at that. Just unhindered by the height. Just squealing its way to the top. Oh, look at that view. Wow. Turned into the dense forest. Jumped to another tree. Oh, out into the open. I think he enjoyed that view for a second there. Alright, alright, let's uh make sure we don't uh have trouble brewing. Yoshito, we've got you selected. Habitat. Looks like there are no escape routes. Oh, that feels good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now I believe our bear has passed quarantine. Indeed. So let's go ahead and move you down to down to the Formosan Falls. Really excited to see how they interact with the space. Really excited to see as well what the guests say. Many of you pointed out that we might have too many trees. We might get a lot of complaints about bad like viewing angles and things like that. But I am curious to see what our guests say when the animals in are in and, and when they start kind of walking around. We saw a couple people coming through last session before the animals were even in, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I do hope to see more of that. If we see too many people taking this path, which is happening, unfortunately, I think that will drive me to get rid of it. That's enough people using this path for me to consider this um, detrimental, I would say. Right? I think so. About to mature. Are you on contraceptives? Right. I can't put you on contraceptives through here unless you're an adult. I gotta go through a different menu. Pretty good. I think I'll put her up for trade. I'll wait until she's an adult and I'll just put her up for trade right away. Um, I do also need to do a couple things. Embe is about to mature. We've got so much going on. So much going on this session. Alright, so first of all, uh, I had made a bit of a mistake when the sponsor boards were being put up. I'm going to go ahead and fix one of those. Uh, we've got... Whoops, which one was it? Whoa, hello, excuse me. This one. We wish to assign elsewhere uh, to a different animal. So that's... Uh, a completely acceptable change of heart, by the way, before anybody second guesses that. Uh, you're also more than welcome to have your names on multiple animals. Uh, that is not a problem either. Right, of course, we've got to solve this problem as well, as quickly as possible. Seems as though they've stopped running around. Are you an adult yet? No, you're not. Why are these guys all hungry? Alright, let's pause. Why are these guys all hungry? I need to do a couple of things here. I want to just pause get you looked after a grade three food quality uh, and let's go ahead and call a keeper over get the food in here right apart from that I want to actually hire a new vet as well a couple things couple things so where is our over here cool so I'm gonna go ahead and hire a new vet uh, this is a name request that I'd missed and I uh, it was submitted well in time, so I'm going to write that wrong. My apologies for it again. Just going to go ahead and get our new vet in here. We're going to immediately... Immediately... All right. Got to wait until he lands on his feet. There we go. Going to... The salary. Going to go ahead and assign... Well, we don't need a work zone for you. 
Uh, we will train you as soon as possible, though. And we want to change your name to... Where are my... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. Michelle. Whoops, before we forget. There we go. No. There we go. Michelle Weedman. Boom. Again, sorry for the uh, mistakes that I made there. My apologies, uh, my sincerest apologies. But hopefully we got all that sorted out now. And uh, the next sponsorships I will be taking at the top of the next month when we have you know East Asia and uh, the Arctic completed. Now with that vet hired, here's what we're going to do. I should actually hire more vets. Uh, the reason for that, I was, I was mulling over this. The reason for that is because advanced research helps, I believe, boost education that people get as they walk through uh, the education area of those animals. It's a good way to make sure that people are getting uh, extra education. In fact, let me check over here. Do we have any... No, just guess numbers and stuff right now. Oh, no, grizzly bear education rating. So, hypothetically, hypothetically, if we go to the grizzly bear, which I'm sure I've already scrolled past. Nope, there we go, grizzly bear. And we get you doing research on the grizzly bear, then that should help with boosting education. Right? Um, meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and get, let's say, Brandy Lee. You go from one bear to another, researching the Formosan black bear. Cool. That should be good. Now, before I hit play, can't believe I forgot to do this before I hit play. Here, I think the solution is quote unquote simple. Uh, I think we just have to go ahead and box this whole thing in glass. And we're going to go ahead and do that, see if that works. And if that does work, then I will come through and do a prettier version of it. Um, so we're not looking at this hideous construct over here. Like I might do it with the clear glass panes uh, or something. Uh, but for now, I just want to see if this works even before we overcommit, spend too much time building something that, uh, I don't know, might need to be completely broken. We'll see. Am I bummed about this development? 100%. Am I going to keep repeating it over and over again? I hope not. <laughs> I hope this is the last time I have to mention it. I hope this solution works. Uh, it's not terrible, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, though I would like very much to... Right, I can't group all of you. Huh. You can't group uh, architectural uh, elements unless they are... Hold on, so you should be able to. I hate that you can't, yeah, I hate that you can't duplicate textural pieces. It doesn't make any sense to me. Always been the case. It's, it's never made the sense. To, never made sense to me. Um, let's just make sure that we are lined up to the bottom here. This ought to do the trick, right? If this doesn't do the trick, then it's got to be a clipping thing. In which case, um, that's a whole different problem. Go ahead and cut the group here. There we go. Put you over like so. Like so. Nope. Lined up. How are we? Oh yeah, there we go. Come on. I said, come on. Hang on, what's going on here? That's what's going on. Okay. I was like, something's not right. I don't know what it is. Okay, there we go. Over here. This is definitely enough room for them to escape through. Put you down there. Let's go ahead and put you, whoops, down over here. If they climb up top, I don't think that'll be a problem. I don't think I need to seal the top over here. If they walk across the top, that's okay. I don't think they'll be able to jump off from up there. So let's go ahead and find one of the baby orangutan and see if they're still going to cause us issues. Let's upgrade their food quality as well. Why not? And Jay Chandra Dewey, let's check you out because you're a baby. Look at that climb. He's about to make a break for it right now, wasn't he? Uh, habitat traversable area. I guess we got to unpause it. Oh, that's why. Because you're being boxed up. Unboxed soon enough, I imagine. Dangerous animal escaped. Being picked up soon, hopefully. Come on now. Unbox this bad boy. Where are you? Why can't I? Oh, right. Don't technically have you selected. No. Able to get out where? Is it this tree? The green lines aren't point, like, aren't, uh... 
highlighted either, which is a bit of a problem. Like the climbing lines. I'm working on it. You can stop ringing. Still able to get out over here. Just walking out. I want to see one escape. You go down there. You all go down there. Just want to see one escape. Oh, that's how it happens. They just walk through... They just walk through the glass. So it's not... Oh, that's silly. Okay. There isn't a gap here, but they just walk through it. You saw that. What, what, am, I, what am I supposed to do about that? Okay, well, maybe... Maybe moving this further out would help with that. But that seems to be the cause. Now, maybe it's too close to a climbing surface, so it still, you know, counts as intersecting or something like that. Maybe. Wouldn't pull you out like so. Hang on, game. There's a lot of important alerts that require my attention. Everything seems to be an important alert that requires my attention. Okay, what's the deal now? We'll check that in a second. Come on. Let me select you. And we're looking at... Is this the other escape route? Because they can walk in here, but they shouldn't be able to climb out in any way. Go ahead and move you before you escape again. Motor dragon overcrowding. Alright, let's go ahead and sort this out. Who's the overcrowder? Aliapa and Rara are our adults. Oh, Susil over here. So Rara is our new adult. What are your genes like? Oh, wow, pretty good. Pretty good. Over to the Trade Center. Alright. You've escaped still? You're just running free, aren't you? You're just doing whatever you want. <laughs> You're just doing whatever you want. Alright, where were we? Over here. A lot of people running away. Can't blame them. Can't blame them. able to climb here. Are they just able to clip through all this as well? Is that the problem? Again, I just need to see these escapes happen so I can uh, block them off where necessary, right? It's so strange. It was, it was working fine two updates ago. Then it stopped working... Uh, well, it was working fine before... So three updates ago. Then it stopped working two updates ago. Then it started working an update before that, and now this update has uh, has broken it again. Why? Why are you doing this to me, game? Why do you want to hurt me so? Go ahead and move these down. This glass box has got to provide the solution to us. Okay, all of you. Because I think I've realized that it's not this overpass, or it's not just the overpass that's causing the issue. I believe that height's okay. Adult won't tell us. Actually, the adult will tell us too. <sighs> no. Okay. Let's see. I get rid of this, that, 
What do we have? We'll be able to get out. Get rid of this. What do we have? Still able to get out. Nope, just hadn't updated yet. Need to make sure I'm able to undo all this. Okay, so getting rid of all this does nothing. Oh, or does it? Okay, that does nothing. Get rid of this. Does that uh, do anything? Show me your traversable area. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, that does it. Hmm. All right. So it's got to do with these climbing platforms. All right. So let's see. Oh, you back. Get that as well. Okay, let's redo that. So I guess that's allowing them to come through here. What I could do is pull these back a little bit. I can pull these things over a touch. Pull you over a touch as well. Like so. Let's see what that does for us. Okay, so you're still fine to get out because this is obviously still very much a problem. Means we've got some escaped animals. Go ahead and move you out this way. Alright. That'll kind of be the moment of truth over here because... There we go. That's just it. It was the little climbing sections were allowing them to clip through the geometry. Okay. So with that done... With that done... We can now pull you out a little bit, right? Line you up properly. Do this kind of a thing. Get rid of these dividers. The glass over there doesn't need to exist. All right, so that should be safe, hopefully. Clean this up a little bit afterwards. Over here. I wonder if I just get rid of these and instead have this climbing platform to get up over here. How are they able to get up over there? I guess they can climb that and then and then jump down. Okay, well that should stop the escapes. Well, hold on a second. Moment of truth is checking on the babies, right? They are still able to clip out over there. That's just it, it's just clipping. It's just the clipping. Alright, so in that case, let's go ahead and pull this back a little bit further. All of you... And you... Pull y'all back. More. Let's see if we can't find our baby again. There you are. I don't know lie down there. Pretending like you're not about to do something horrible. <laughs> Give it a second over here, let it refresh. I don't think it's refreshed yet. Yeah, man. Come yeah, on. Look at the crowds, though, right? Like they, these are such money makers. As long as they're not escaping, surely you can't still escape from over here. Or is that my? Let's see. Let's edit the barrier here a little bit. Go ahead and bring you down a bit more. That might do the trick, actually. That might be it. Let's see. Where's our buddy? There you are. You're trying to hide from me so I can't investigate. Nice try. Yeah, that's done. That's that solved the problem. 
Okay. Okay. About time. Now, I could check if destroying the uh, glass paneling here does the trick, because I do prefer the look of it without the glass paneling. But let's just check real quick. We can always undo it and bring it back. Always undo it and bring it back. So let's get rid of all this, right? I have to fix a little bit of stuff over here. We'll do that afterwards, because I might need to undo that deletion, right? Pick our little buddy over here. Come on. And... Looks like we're still good. So yeah, the the this crossing had nothing to do with it. It was all in the clipping through stuff. Clipping through geometry. Which is unfortunate, but I'm glad we figured it out and solved the problem. Deselect this, please. Deselect that, please. There we go. Duplicate all this over a touch so we have this connected. Nudge it down ever so slightly. Works for me. And let's just double check over here. Good stuff. We're clear. And then where's our baby? Because this ain't no baby. Where's our baby? <laughs> there you are. Nope, that is... Yeah, that is the baby. I was like, no, that's our keeper. No, it's not our keeper. Uh, good. Okay, so the only issue now is that they can't quite climb this section as much as they previously used to be able to. Oh, no, they can. They can. It just goes from being a walking to a climbing area. But they can't get up over here as well as they used to. Is that the case? Bit of a bummer if it is. Move these over a little bit. See if that makes a difference. I liked how it was before. I wish it could still work like that. Where are we? Oh, I thought I saw you. There you are. Go ahead and get you picked out here. I mean, it still marks this as, as climbable. Was this always just climbable as opposed to walkable? I guess it has to be uncontinuous walking surface for it to count as uh, walkable. Well, make it work. We'll, 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 we'll work with this. We'll work with this. I'm, I'm happy enough to see that this escape route has been fixed because that's been plaguing us for a while now. That's been plaguing us for a long while now. Looks like more research has been completed over here on the Japanese macaque. Excellent. Beautiful. Uh, what have we got going on over here? What are these issues? Low welfare on our flamingo. We'll deal with that eventually. Lots of people say hello too, but now we don't unfortunately have the time for that right now. Remember when we had the time to just go around saying hello to everybody? Remember those days? Uh, the pangolin. We have a new baby that is no longer a baby, and that's going to cause issues soon if I don't do something about it. Uh, let's go ahead and check up on you. Mingxia, rather. Mingxia with the good genes. Go ahead and put you in the trade center. No inbreeding to be had here. Good stuff. Uh, and then who else? What else? Oh, big crowds coming through. That's good. Always good to see big crowds coming through. Facility broken down over here. Let's go ahead and call the mechanic. I would have assumed one would have come through automatically. And it was actually pointed out as well that I did not do an exhibit run check on our Om Nom Nom animals. So Diego, let's get you out of there. So let's get you out of there. And over here, yes, we have a couple of extras. Get you two out of here. There we go. Beautiful. 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 All right, Inspector has arrived, going to check out quite a few places. I'm going to put faith into my keepers and everything and believe that everything's going okay. I just want to do a quick check over here to see how things are going. If they're going, are people coming through? People are coming through. Oh, wow. Question becomes, are we getting donations? The answer is yes. All right. That's great. That's great. Now, I need to figure out people's thoughts and stuff as well, of course. Oh, yeah, they look pretty happy. Well, okay, their happiness itself is kind of low. I'm loving the look of ATM 50. Excuse me? <laughs> I wish I could stay long to see bears, boa constrictor, Indian elephant. Okay. Going home via Formosan Falls. No opinion on the falls themselves. Come on now. Surely you got something to say. Surely you've got something to say. Um, it's not log. 
Uh, guest thoughts. Oh, no guests have recently visited this habitat. Alright, so we don't know just quite yet. Diseased animal, I'm guessing. Oh, reindeer. Well, at least we've got solutions for all the uh, possible issues. There's that. Alright, um... I think... I think we're doing okay as far as... No, you know what? This is drawing too many people away. Let's go ahead and get rid of this path. We can always rebuild it if we want to. But let's, uh, let's get rid of it. Wow, recalculating the path as I delete is taking a lot out of this game right now. Go and get rid of all of you. Get rid of you. Keep that connection there. Get rid of all of you. Let's go. Come on out. There we go. And where's our staff path? No angle snap, please. Mm, maximum width. Whoa, no tunneling. What? <laughs> Game just went on an undoing spree there for a second. Want to get rid of all this path, please, and thank you. There we go, there we go. There we go. Alright, path. Stop deleting. Wow, I undo that one thing, it undoes everything over here. Okay, you know what? Easy solution is to just go a little bit wider with this path, why not? No, don't. Tunneling is off. Why do you insist? Okay, strange. Very strange. I guess we're not going to be able to delete this path, but hey, making it a staff-only path gives accessibility to our staff and also ensures that uh, later on, if we do want to build this path again, we can. Go ahead and do that. And I don't understand it. Game, stop. I clicked undo once. Holy crap. Alright, you know what, folks? I think it's about time we have a serious conversation about a new zoo. <laughs> I'm thinking episode 100 will be the last episode at uh, Elite Zoo North, and then we either go to Elite Zoo South or Elite Zoo Tropics or Elite Zoo Africa. Um, but this is starting to, it's starting to really break the game, isn't it? It's starting to really break the game. Uh, nonetheless, folks, on that unfortunate note, let's not end on that. No, let's end on the note that we actually have guests uh, coming in through Formosan Falls and checking it out. Obviously, now that I go to, to suggest that's the case, we don't have... Oh, there we go. Hey, people, people coming through. People coming through, and now more people will come through once, well, now that we've uh, got this uh, path fixed. Let's put it that way, like these guys over here. See, rather than go up that way, and I have to turn around and uh, come down this way. Heading to the Red Keep. Well, why don't you why don't you go to the thing that's between you and the Red Keep? Why don't you do that instead? These animals will be curing. Oh, looks like the rain's coming in right on time. Right on time. We actually have to get... Um, uh rain uh waterfall stuff going on as well in the um in, in in this wooded area in this forested area in this jungle area but uh as the sun sets and as our bears seek cover <laughs> this looks like a domestic like dispute just took place about which which cave to nap in perhaps i don't know but that's adorable this is just absolutely they're such cute animals Looks like eyes closed, meditative state. Tiny little toes. Oh man, they're so cute. Look at that disappointment face. It's like a stolen home situation. Is this our... Yeah, the female has like taken the, uh, the, the, the male's favorite sitting spot or something. That's what it looks like over here. That's hilarious. Anyways, folks, this is where we're going to call it a session on this adorable little note over here. Hope you enjoyed this one. Got a fair bit done. Next session, we should be diving into our Arctic Wolves uh, adventure. That should be a fun time. So as the rain falls, I bid you farewell. Hope you had a good time. Like I say always, if you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Makes such a big difference in how I approach things on the channel. And as always, 
A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.